Walt Disney, the safest, most family-friendly media outlet in the world. Or is it? Emma Reed from Pontefract was left stunned when her four-year-old daughter Ava began repeating the F word after watching the Disney Plus channel. I asked her where she got it from. She told me it was what Lady had said in Lady and the Tramp. So I watched the film and at 36 minutes in, I heard it. Here you go, Emma. I'll save you all the lawyer's fees. We will figure out today if there's an F-bomb in Lady and the Trying to make a fool out of me. Cause that's not easy to do. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna go. I did anyone hear the F bomb? I didn't hear sh Nor did I hear f okay. Emma, I'm starting to think you might be a little nutty McPherson. Cause that's not easy to do. Oh, okay. You okay, I. Uh, oh, f okay. Oh, f okay. Oh, f okay. Like, that's, that's not f Fuck. That's not f Fuck. Like, this is a dog. They say oof. Well, they don't talk at all, but... Oh, f okay. You know? Oh, f okay. Oh, f What is oh, f All right, okay. With the evidence presented here, I cannot say that the tramp mm, said the F word. But we're gonna use science. This is the Disney text-to-speech test, or the Disney test. This is where I use a text-to-speech program where it will tell us what they're saying. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, all we're getting is okay, not f okay. Emma, gotta lay off the crowd. <laughs> so, can you remember the first Disney show we looked at today? If so, you're a regular Sherlock Holmes. If not, I got a game for you that's gonna help you sharpen your mind. The sponsors for this video, Sherlock Hidden Cases. But first, here's a little mini game for you. Find the hidden pickle sandwich and put the time code in the pinned comment. Now, Sherlock, you take the role of Sherlock to unlock a series of mysteries. The plots of some of the most well-known novels has been changed. It's up to you to solve these mysteries and return these classics back to their original state. All the while meeting some interesting familiar your characters, as well as some asshole villains. Ah. Sherlock has a great combination of hidden object games and Match 3, which is another one of my favorite games to play. I play this game with my grandma because it's just relaxing and fun and anybody can play it. Plus, these kind of games improve your memory and sharpen your mind. You, you could really use some of that. Plus, there's tons of rewards and events always happening, so there's always something to bring you back. A detective's work is never done. Do you have what it takes, Sherlock? Download and play Sherlock for free using the link in my description or by clicking my QR code. You think you can do that for me, Sherlock? It's free to play on PC, including all browsers, Android and iOS. And if you're up for a good story, a good mystery, Sherlock. And thank you, Sherlock, for sponsoring. All right, this next swear is from the movie Chicken Little. More like chicken sh <laughs> Well, valid, valid. I mean, if I saw balls headed towards my facial area, I would probably run and yell, get the fuck out as well. Uh, well, I mean, it's not super clear. Like, it's more like, like, you know, just random uh, screaming, but probably could have not said it like that. Probably could have made it sound a lot less like, but let's see how much it really sounds like it. By my guy. That could have worked, actually. Bye, my guy. <laughs> I'm out. I don't want balls penetrating my face. All right, this next one is from a Disney Junior show called Doc McStuffins. Right off the bat. What is that? What is that? Doc McStuffins? If you Google that later, make sure safe search is on. And before you know, you're gonna grow. Whoa, looking good, Lula. Oh, <laughs> wow, looking good, Lula. <laughs> and before you know, you're gonna grow. Whoa, looking good, Lula. It said f It actually- 
actually did though. Fucking God, Lula. Dis Disney, Disney, Walt Disney. How dare you? I have nieces and nephews. When you unfreeze yourself, I'm gonna give you a piece of my mind. Whoa, looking good, Lula. Oh, okay, hold up, hold up. Whoa, looking good, Lula. Oh, he said looking good. Oh, that is much safer. Okay, I take it all back. Looking good, Lula. Yeah, yeah, it's almost like that Yanni Laurel thing. I heard before. Why do I always hear fuck first? All right, this next one is some classic Disney. This one is, is a little curse word from Donald Duck. More like Donald f Uh... Yum yum. <laughs> you tell him, Donald Duck. Okay, we're we're all in agreements here. He said, "Little bitch." You little bitch. You little bitch. But I mean, let's be honest. This guy did try to cook Donald Duck into a dead duck flambe. You little bitch. Like, I don't see any other option there. And you know what? I, I wouldn't even put it past old Disney to say something like this. Let's find out technology wise. Why would plants. Why would plants? Valid question. Why would plants? <laughs> technology is our future. <laughs> or flop. All right, this next one is from another Disney Junior show called Handy Manny. Never heard of it, but I'll tell you what, why the hell are all these Disney Junior shows? This next generation is gonna swear like fucking sailors. What? Okay. I uh, you know what? That's where I draw the line. Right? Here. Or a fucking Bronto. Or a fucking Bronto? What the hell is a fucking Bronto? Fucking Bronto. Oh, fucking Bronco. Got it. Oh, thank you. Ah, or a fucking Bronto. <laughs> well, let me ask you this: If you're doing a kids show, why would you even use the word fucking? Do you know how close that is to fucking? It's close. In fact. You may have noticed that this clip I showed you was poor video quality because this is the only known footage of this swear word. I watched this episode on Disney Plus and he doesn't say fucking Bronco at all. Didn't hear Bronco. that time, did ya? They redid the voiceovers to make him say something completely different. That is a sign of guilt, Walt Disney. In fact, you can even see his lips. He's still saying Bronco. So obviously Disney got a lot of complaints from parents because their kids are now running around the house going Bronco. All right, this next one is from an older Disney show called Jesse. And then I smeared peanut butter on his claws so the squirrels would attack him. I can be quite impish. What? <laughs> you can be quite a what? I can be quite impish. You can? Everyone! Apparently, this kid can be quite the bitch! I mean, I can be quite impish. <laughs> <laughs> Even that girl's like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. This is a Disney show. <laughs> I can be quite a bitch. I can be quite a bitch, beach, beach, peach, peach. I can be quite a peach. I can be quite a bitch. Nope, it's bitch. But we'll confirm it. Disney t -t -t test. I can be quite a bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can be quite a bitch. <laughs> I can be quite impish. I think technology just may have redeemed itself. He's saying impish. He's not a impish. He's just impish. Impish. Why that word? It sounds like bitch. <laughs> Disney, got to work on your script writing. You're choosing words that are this close to swear words. How about another Disney Junior show? You know, Disney Junior shows just don't have enough F-bombs. 
This one is in Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Ho oh, ho! Hi kids! Today we're gonna learn to say fuck! Ho oh, ho! Oh. <laughs> what is it with Disney Ducks saying fat? I'm okay. I'm okay. I just got a potty mouth. I'm okay. Wet arm shat? Like, I'm trying to understand what he's saying. Wet nut scab? He's impossible to understand, so... You know what, I think that's what Disney does with this character. They're like, I would really like to say in it in an episode. And they're like, well, just say it in Donald Duck's voice. <laughs> no one will ever know. Well, we know. <laughs> we know. This next one is in the TV show, <laughs> More like Phineas and Did he just say, don't be fuck my sister? <laughs> don't be the fuck in my system. Don't be the f in my system? What is that? What does that mean? Dude, can you do me a huge favor? Stop being the fuck in my system. Don't be the bug in my system. Oh, don't be the bug in my system. Oh! Don't be the bug in my system. Yeah, you know what? That's way better than don't be fucking my sister. But we'll see what uh, Disney t t thinks of this. Don't be the bug in my sister. Don't be the buggy. This is what I've been telling you guys all these years. In life, don't be the buggy. Be the one pushing the buggy. I don't know what the f that means. This next one is in one of my five 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 little, 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 uh, stroke. It's one of my childhood favorites, Aladdin. Iago, excuse me. Do you know how many times I watched this as a young impressionable child? Do you realize this is why I am the way I am? You dumb f bug. What? What you dumb bug? You dumb bug? I heard you dumb bug. Dumb bug. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not too sure of this one. It's not as clear as some of the other ones. Ah, let's test it, see what we get. Why not? Results are funny. What is a dumb bug? What is a home? Well, you see, it's a place where people live physically. What is a dumb bug? You know, what, what is a home? Yeah, I'm not hearing it. I'm just not hearing it. Now, this next one got Disney in a little bit of hot water. As reported by Snopes, on the 6th of November 2014, the website One Million Moms, a fundamentalist Christian group, always ruining the fun, posted a petition urging concerned parents to contact Disney over the purported use of swearing. In the popular Disney Junior program, Doc McStuffins. In this case, a brontosaurus on the show used the word during a sneezing fit before hastily apologizing for his use of the word. So how clear is this swearing? Is this Christian group justified in trying to get Disney shut down? Let's find out. Oh no, this is hopeless, horrible, shitty, uh, I mean, really, really bad. Oh, it's bad, all right, it's really bad. That was as clear as my butt hair on a midsummer's day. And I have no idea what I mean by that. Let's watch it again. This is hopeless, horrible, shitty. Oh, I mean, really, really <laughs> this is hopeless, horrible, shitty. Oh. This would really suggest that he said shit. Now Disney denies it, of course, and I have to imagine this was not intentional at all. But this is hopeless, horrible, shitty. Oh, shitty. <laughs> shitty. But we'll see what uh, Disney t t thinks of this. You're shitty. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much clears it. I mean, we can, we're not deaf. He said, here's where things get interesting, though. Perhaps this fundamentalist Christian group did have an impact on Disney because they have since changed the voiceover. 
Check this out. This is hopeless, horrible. Oh, I mean. Didn't hear shit in there anymore, did ya? Yeah, that's cause they cut it out. They cut the shit. Disney cut the shit. They literally did the. <laughs> they changed it from to. <laughs> but we know the original and we will never forget Disney. Well, I hope you guys had fun. I hope Disney has learned a lesson. Script writing, stop saying things that sound like shit and fuck. And I hope you guys subscribe. And just remember that I love the shit out of you guys. Bye.